Hello. Um, uh, today I'm going to be kind of <clears throat> talking about something more private or personal. Private, personal. But I guess not necessarily completely private, but because um, uh, I might mention this in some other videos. So I guess I'd rather kind of get out of the way now. Um, <clears throat> uh, one week ago, um, my grandmother died, um, and I mentioned months back, uh, I might have gone too uh, deep into any detail, but um, I mentioned how back in November last year my, uh, Great grandmother died, and she was 99 years old. She would be uh, 100 next month if she was still alive. Um, but uh, March 1st, my grandmother died, and um, <clears throat> I basically kind of want to talk about. The things like for movies that she helped get me into. Um, basically, um, uh, before I get into that, I've got to give some background. Um, back in uh, November, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, everybody was all uh, together and um, we were. Uh, Having a good time, but she was, um, she was getting, or she was sick, um, she was coughing, uh, though, uh, apparently, though, grandfather said that, uh, she had been sick since, like, November, or not November, September, but I guess November and Thanksgiving is when it really, uh, was very, uh, no, obviously, uh, more prevalent, and so uh, December comes, and well, she had a doctor's appointment, but I don't know. I guess it was just thought of, oh, she has a cold or something, because you know, it was around Thanksgiving, and we live in Iowa. Most of my family does, so we you know, transition from fall to winter. You know, colds can happen. No, because of the co the cooling air coming in, all that. So I don't know the exact details of the whole doctor appointment thing, but basically she seemed to. I guess it was thought that you know she just had a cold. <clears throat> uh, but as the month went on. Her cough got worse in January. Uh, she wasn't getting any better, and I uh, just wasn't able to get into the doctor. Sees because sees a lot of other people, and wasn't she wasn't able to get scheduled in. So at least the first part. So by the end of January, uh, she. You know, they did, they took some blood of her, some blood, um, just to see what was up, uh, and she was also shaking a bit, um, like it was cold. Uh, so anyway, uh, February comes, and basically, uh, the beginning. Of that, I believe, like by the end of the first week, or maybe the beginning of the second week of February, uh, she they she's taken to the hospital with my grandfather, and um, because apparently what happened was her something was up with her kidneys, and um, like she was. Uh, uh, 
can't really pronounce the name of it. It's one of those names that's just long. And basically, her kidneys were very weak, and so you know they took some more blood from her to just to make sure what they thought it was correct. So that way they can start treating her correctly. And um, she was shaking and visited visited her in the hospital. She was shaking here. Her like body was shaking and um, visited her um, through. She was in the hospital for a few weeks. In each visit, she wasn't shaking as much. Um, so, you know, uh, which was good. However, they had to keep, I guess, like, not every day, but every few days or so, take some more blood just to make sure the levels, like, within her kidneys and stuff was good. Um, I believe she had some sh surgery done. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe she did. Um, because if not, uh, it was weird because she said like she had a like <clears throat> lay on her stomach for like six hours, and like yeah, I believe it was like a procedure, like a surgery that happened, um, and as a result of that, um, you know, like she was gonna get better, and. And also, they had to give her blood transfusion since the blood they took out to test and everything. So she got more blood. So all the you know, and um, so at this point, she looked very frail and was physically weak. Um, but <clears throat> then again, with all the stuff going on, you know, on top of how sick she was, plus all the stuff. They have to do to make it make sure she's okay. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't just be exhausted. Yeah, anybody really would, you know. Take some blood out of you every so often just to make sure things are looking good. You know, there's only so much. You can look at that you're hooked up to, and it just shows so much. Um, but anyway, uh, she went home uh, by the end of a like a week before the end of February. Uh, she seemed to be doing fine and was basically said, like, okay, okay, you can go home. So she went home and uh, I didn't get to see her uh, after she got out of the hospital. And she seemed to be getting better. Uh, I mean, you know, she wasn't shaking as much. Uh, but then again, something like that, I guess, if she's been shaking for some time, it's not going to go away right away. And she had some medicine that had a, she had to take for like the, for four weeks, maybe six, four to six weeks, <clears throat> just to help allow the medicine to work with her and be fine. Um, you know, again, you know, after what happens, you know, so physically weak and looks frail, but, again, you know, she seemed to be doing fine, and she looked better, um, I remember like that, um, the Oscars or something was, like that was coming up, and, talked about 
last time we talked about bit about that a little and who we thought would win or sh and should win. Um, and, uh, you know, just basically life just was going fine and then Wednesday morning, and I find out that she died. Now, I don't know exactly how she died, um, but basically, what it's what's thought to be is she had like a heart attack. Uh, it could be her heart just gave out from all the, I guess, all the stress because of how exhausted she was. That like her heart could have just given out too. Um, I don't know, but you know, it sucks. And these things happen. But I remember the good times I had with my grandmother. Uh, just as rem just as I remember the good times I had with my great grandmother, and um, you know, with uh, movies, as I said, uh, growing up, you know, my grandparents showed me many old movies, and my grandmother showed me some old. The old, like, Universal monster movies. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and I just love those. Um, and one reason is because, like, uh, Lon Chaney, who's best known for The Phantom of the Opera, and, um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <clears throat> And Lon Chaney Jr., who's the Wolfman, um, he's our, they are our, uh, cousin, cousins, um, my grandmother, uh, this is on my mother's side too, by the way, um, grandmother's grandmother, so my great-great-grandmother, her sister, um, married one of Lon Chaney's uh, brothers. He has two brothers, a sister, and uh, so she became a Chaney, and because of that, you know, that's how we were related to Lon Chaney and Lon Chaney Jr. And uh, my great-grandmother's uh, obituary, um, this isn't the great great grandmother of my that died in November. Um, this was like back in the late nineties. Uh, she uh, making her obituary. It said that they were that she was related to. Lon Chaney and Lon Chaney Jr. Um, so learning that just made me more interested in movies than I already was. Anyway, as a kid, I always loved movies, but learning from my grandmother that we were related to two actors just it was just really just amazed me and. Uh, made me more fascinated and uh that's probably another reason why I want to make one of the movies also um uh, anyway uh I 
I guess that's really all I have to say. Um, again, maybe in some future videos I might say something pertaining to that, and then if any of you guys watching might ask me questions. I guess I thought I, in case that ever happens, I'd rather uh, get it out in the open now. Uh, that way, um, it's out here. Uh, you know, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> There isn't going to be a funeral because uh, my grandparents to say like you know like they've been to funerals for their friends and you know, family too, and it's just it's just not for them. They don't want to have one for either of them. But like perhaps like late spring, early summer, we might have like a picnic or something. Uh, we did that when. Her sister died, my aunt, um, back in 2007. We had a picnic. And, um, you know, just like a memorial just to remember her. How oh, the uh, fun times that was, that we all had with her and good memories. And uh, that's something that has been talked about. And could happen. Um, not saying it definitely will, but it's like it's been talked about here and there. Um, so there's that. Um, I remember I showed my grandmother Breaking Bad, and she liked that show. She didn't see Better Call of Saul, at least not that I can recall. I was meant to show that to her, but because uh, she liked Breaking Bad, so but it didn't se seem like she watched that. But <sighs> it's unfortunate. But I have good memories with her, of her, too. Um, it's sad. Um, also, just the fact that, you know, I'll say she was 75, and, and today, because of how long people can live now, it's like, you know, she lived a full life, and yet at the same time, it's like, it's not that old either to die. Um, you know, it's been a week, so, you know, everybody in her family is just kind of still still on our minds, and, um, We're all uh, getting through it all in our own ways. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing fine, so as fine as one can be um, after something like this. Um, I do want to start doing some of those um, commentary. Again, um, I've been thinking about some of the movies I could comment over, and I think Doctor Strangelove is one that I'll probably comment over because it's comedy, and I think at this uh, um, moment in time, I need a good laugh. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to get on that, like, tonight or anything, but, you know, the next few days, I hope, I will, uh, 
And she liked Dr. Strangelove, so I liked it, so... <sighs> I love... I love my grandmother and my great-grandmother. And I didn't know my... grandmother's mom, great grandma, uh, a whole lot, but she loved movies too, and I was always told that she and I was gone along great, because we both like old movies, and just movies in general, so we just talk. There's that, and it seems like she was, she was great. Um, it always sucks to lose a family member. Uh, yeah. Uh, I do have <clears throat> some old home like movies that were filmed like a few years ago they're all like over an hour long and one of them uh, my grandmother is in um, though I don't know if I will ever put that on you put those videos up on YouTube um, if I did I'd probably be unlisted um, no nothing against anyone but you know those videos would be like things for like a family, and close friends, like family friends of the family. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if I will put those up anyway. But you know, that was just something I have thought of right now. Sharing with you all. <sighs> anyway, uh, I guess I just thought I'd share with you all what's been going on lately with me. Uh, that has been going on. Um, yeah. Things like this are always unfortunate. wish that grandmother lived another 15, 20 years, or maybe even 30, uh, but <sighs> unfortunately these things happen. Just really, all we can do is just remember the good times and all that good stuff. And uh, family, family has, been, has been meeting up more. Like, it used to have like like every week or so, like uh, get together and eat and just talk and. We're starting to do that again, just a little more often, just see each other more. So that'll help, I'm sure. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Bye.